Welcome to the winner's finals of the Meta Place Monthly Tournament number 12. In the blue color, we have got Almirante99 playing as Atriox. On the other side, his opponent, also Atriox, but not. He's Atriox playing Colony. Gonna be. He just went for an extra grunt and that's it. Uh, not going for the sides where Zami is. So you'll be securing free power crates right away. That is pretty brutal. Very solid start for our gamer of Mexico. Gonna be a pretty aggressive build from Aatrox. Just getting his raid camp in the middle of this. He likes to do this. Amarante better be prepared. If he gets out a quick hero, I think he'll be able to counter it pretty hard. He's got life, sir. No joke, though. And if you get like three of them on top of the hero, it's gonna be in trouble. Okay, the Chosen's gonna come out first. The upgrade's gonna come out later. The first Goliath is on the way. There's a handful of grunts. There's no chopper. There's no... There's no skitters as far as I can see. And Aatrox sure as hell doesn't have a lot of power as he didn't take the sides as Ami did. He's only now getting his first mini base. Very cautious in this game. And if he can get a few jump back brutes out for defense as well, uh, he'll be doing super solid in this game. Now here comes one of the of the Goliaths. But it's gonna be met with an immediate chosen and jump up route combination with the upgrade coming in just after. Oh, immediately going after the chosen. It's gonna be the attempt anyway. Did that just do no damage? What? Okay, Trucks crashing on that harvester right away. This hero needs its upgrades immediately. Fast rounds, two seconds out. Let's see what that can do once it's in. Uh, should be a lot easier to take on the horde, but monkey strong. Oh my. Hey, the plasma mines are so well placed, and the stunts are very nice too. A lot of Aatrox's forces have just been deleted. And believe me, Ami is not done. But there are more Goliaths coming in. Let's see if we can lure some into the mines. Another one bites the dust. Harvester is gonna get focus fired now, but the Chosen can still keep taking it. Uh, can he take it though? I mean, there's a lot of grunts here. At the same time, his AoE attacks are doing a lot of work. And all these mines are going to be slowing the grunts down, not allowing them to connect with the Chosen. Ami's um, micro is pretty solid, but there are a lot of monkeys here. All these Goliaths together are doing a lot of work. A heal would be a very timely move right now. Unfortunately, he loses another Goliath before that happens. The grunts are not going to be kept alive either. More and more jump up roots coming out, and Ami's um, only lost one building so far. He can totally take this. Going back, going back. Ami getting a, a second mini base. Behind this means that he's very confident about his ability to hold. And I think he should be. Look at that, the harvest stays up. Oh my god. Aatrox did nothing. He did some health damage, that's it. Chosen has got a star. The ram actually connects with the raid camp, I think. Oh, Chosen's getting very low. But he can take it. Ami can just go and heal up. He's got enough units now to hold. Without any issues. Oh, he's not going to, though. Sticking around. Playing it safe. Third point should be in, but a little bit too late to save the harvester. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's just the harvester. You can, you can just remake that. No problem. He's got a mini base advantage. Doesn't matter if the 
a harvester is upgraded or not and now you can go across the map and do major damage just take out this mini base of Aatroxes and he should be good to go especially if he takes out yet another Goliath I don't even think he's gonna mess around with it okay he is he is playing it safe But now he's full of shield, so <laughs> his individual units are not that scary. Oh my god! That's a lot of units gone for army all of a sudden, and Aatrox is pumping out more suicide runs, so he's gonna have to split in some way, shape, or form. Oh, he's gonna eat a full one again. <laughs> well, Aatrox is certainly stopping the pushing power of army here. He's gonna have to heal up or um, at least use a leader power. Oh my god, he's gonna eat it again, isn't he? Yikes. That is four jump back brute squads gone. Imagine if Ami can heal those up. Oh, we got the drop. No, that's not a drop. That's normal ones. That's, that's not starred. So very nice for Ami to keep behind his, uh, his jump back brutes. That said, a dropping could happen any moment really and it looks like these guys are gonna be able to escape heal up and come back at some point so I mean, gonna be uh, playing it safe anyway and just going after the mini bases first no need to fully commit to the main you can do that later It should go down. I mean, it's gonna be Suis, but if Ami spreads out just a little bit, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh god, he's just gonna eat it. <laughs> okay, the mini base still might go down to the two grunts. Looks like it will. But we got two more monkeys, and they're doing work. Uh, however, the other two from earlier have died somewhere. Don't know what happened to those, but they are dead. Aatrox is trying to steal mini bases, but that ain't happening. Um, he's not allowing for it. He's got, got a second power extractor. So does Aatrox, but it's not upgrading yet. So, Ami is going to have a pretty substantial power advantage in this game. Ami has stolen the mini. Still here with the Chosen. Gonna be using the Grunt to capture while the Chosen does the uh, attacking. I'll probably start it up to be honest. Let's see if you can get two stars. Oh, the Grunt actually dies. And Chosen ends up moving, so doesn't get the veterancy now. Uh, Apex, really? That seems unnecessary. You got some really nice reset micro from Aatrox. You can see these slight wiggles on the units. And it makes them attack very slightly faster if you issue move order in between. But I think he's looking. Either way, looking or not, he can't dodge if they're stunned. <laughs> Shake your fist at the sky, monkeys. Alright, Chosen's gonna do this again. This time around, he's the one tanking for the most part. So that should get him to two stars. I'll lose my mind if he's not. Free! Get two stars! He must have it. Give us the precious. Right, Aatrox trying to violently expand all over the map. But with Ami having such good map control, he's everywhere, he knows. Colony drop is ready to go, so Aatrox might drop in here. There's no defenses again, it's just one jump back fruit and it's immediately getting triggered. Uh, but the hero is very close by, so it shouldn't be a big problem to defend this. Yeah, immediately close in. But the extractor might be lost nonetheless. Like, you need some kind of defense for this. 
Only the jump back through jumps might be enough to get him into Bulwark. This is actually starting to look pretty good, but if you're Aatrox, you probably have 4th power. And if you have 4th power, you can... Uh, Hunter's Brand, this extractor, might actually go down. Not gonna trigger it though, but he's still got the line of sight. Now or never. And goodbye. Gonna lose the other base as well. Okay, this is starting to look like a bit of a disaster. Army has built up so nicely. And honestly, if you're Army, you just heal up all these squads and you get Dark Skies. So you're gonna have 50% more jump back fruits all of a sudden. You can uh, kill a base with all that. But he's just getting the hero upgrade. Like I said, just playing a very safe all game. Flop. Nice to have these engineers for healing after all. Allows him to stay on the offense, doesn't have to go to the healing area, so the healing areas are sure useful. But like, pumping out the one engineer, fine, you know. Just do it. Still no, uh, no sight of, um, Dark Skies. I'm not sure we'll see it, to be honest. Walking right. No, no, no. The predictive cast. It was okay, but like Ami was looking. Rangers don't counter infantry, says the chosen. As he gets a second star. He's that uh, dude from the memes with all the medals on his chest. Yep. yourselves. I'm running to 99 is going forge. Very meta pick on vault. I like it. On the other side. Playing in the red color we have got Aatrox. He is going Isabel. Something we very rarely get to see. So I certainly appreciate that. As for whether that will work out we shall see. Across here. Both players might do a mini base deal. Or not. So certainly heading in the or not direction. Oh, the lobby click first. Yes, Aatrox actually wasn't looking. Now he annoyed. Marine would lose to the Jackrabbit 1v1, but I think Ami's more interested in picking up the power and then just moving on to the next place. Always a good excuse to check out the waterfalls. And we've got a second generator coming in. As a standard in this matchup, we are pretty certainly going to see just a Warthog battle. Very hard to punish otherwise. But honestly, Forge should be advantage there, um, I believe. At least, I think this is a matchup where... Where Isabel struggles a little bit. It's just not easy to deal with the... Uh... Oh, what's his face? That's a Forge Hog. But you got a bunch of counters. And in late game, Isabel can be pretty strong.
second generator upgrade is in. Definitely a slower start to this game. Uh, got a little bit of sentinel action going on. These marines can't take it though. Look, way more than they could chew. Jox gets one of the center minis, but Ami gets all the small minis, which is a lot cheaper. Except this one. So at least Aatrox gets something. Gets that Alice! Okay, that's interesting. Uh, curious what you'll do with that. Even if he gets a hijack, it's gonna take like three hijacks to make this worth it. Maybe more. Army running away from this. Sentinel's too much for him too. But he's got a garrison nearby, so he can always take that. Or just keep shooting backwards. This base is certainly paying for itself. Black those mines. Army might run over them at some point. So, Ijax coming in, huh? Fortress of War Tog is here. Army is tier 2. Whereas Aatrox is pretty far away from it. Uh, not even clicking up. This is why it's kind of weird to see that hero so early. Like, Army in, in a few minutes is gonna have like 10 War Togs. And Aatrox will be making the first. So, that's gonna be rough. Surprised to see Ami actually not getting this last sentinel down. Two Marines now. Peppering this little mini base. And Aatrox only now clicking up to tier 2. At least the garage was taken down. A little win for Aatrox. Ammo rounds coming in. And yeah, Ami just decides, yeah, I'll just make the garage at home. That supply pad is probably gonna die to the Spartan. That's pretty nice. Maybe Spartan is paying for itself very slowly. You know, if if she could kill the the mini base, that would be it. But it looks like Aatrox also will be losing a mini base. So this is not really value city right now. Uh, marine on marine action is on as well. There's a lot of not picked up resources around the map to be honest. Aatrox down 18 population to Amarante's 30. Yeah, what do you really do after the Warthog uh, minigame of, of massing them up? I think you just keep going, honestly. Uh, keep getting the upgrades and maybe add in some dispersion nozzle flamers if you must, but uh, only if you actually see the infantry. You don't really need to do anything else. Like, Fortune just do this all day and uh, move on to to better things, keep macroing up and eventually go for vultures. That should be a moment. Of course, ghost in the machine is always scary. Mac blast, maybe not so much. Now we're gonna have Vortex for our Isabel player too. And surprisingly, Iron doesn't have much more population. That is strange. Yeah, Aatrox is getting out the healers. But here comes the Spartan. That should secure this base. I kind of like the way he's playing it. Uh, as weird as the Spartan was. Spartan's probably toast. There's no detection though. So she might make it. What is going on? The supply pad pushed her out. What the heck? 
<laughs> okay, I didn't know that would happen. That was wild. Well, now the Nightingales are gonna pay the price too. Rip. At least one of them. And the rest, you know, this base can just be taken down by Ami now, no problem. Warthox are running around though. And Aatrox has got some teeth of his own. I mean, Big Mini is not gonna last too long, I think. So yeah, best, best just take this out. Run with that. Are there any turrets here? Doesn't look like it. In fact, Ami has idle slots. I think he's a bit tired today or something. Can't blame the guy. I mean, we had a lot of games. Best offense is in. Best offense. Can't pronounce things today. English hard. Trux does lose the base, but Ami has 69 population, which was nice until it's gone. Looking for the next base to take down. Aatrox sure is doing his best. But this is becoming an anti-vehicle turret. This here. And now he's coming back for the defense, funnily enough, rather than attacking. So Aatrox is slowly starting to build up a little lead. He has a lot less power, but he's got the map control. And I'm not entirely sure if Ami wants to do something in tier 3. But it sure seems to be the case. Oh my goodness, the. The bomb boss are doing work. Portrug will be going down here. Too many rams, but uh, Aatrox will be losing his entire army, so is it really worth it? Probably not. One mine is remaining. But it won't do all that much. Sure, army will lose a few more units, but still Aatrox is losing his entire army here. You know, actually, this is not so bad as I thought. There's a lot more Wolverines in here than. Uh, then it seemed at first. Forty-nine population now to seventy. Army is still going really strong. And I'm curious if he's getting an upgrade or something. No. Just gonna have to get the Forge Hug back, I guess, and more Nightingales. Should keep this force alive for longer. Turret's trying to be brought up, but... Yeah, Aatrox will have to hold his base too. Committing a lot of units to this. Should have mech available, honestly. But we haven't seen it all game. Oh! Actually ends up just stealing the units. And all he does with that is run down a few of Ami's units. And now he should group up and, uh, you know, go backwards. He's putting his ones in front of, of the stolen units. Funnily enough, he didn't actually go with the, with the mines, but now the positioning for Aatrox is not that good. He's kind of stuck in there. Sparkle coming in with a slam. Two mines remain. Oh, actually a lot of work happening there, but Amiranta just drops in. The big boys. Grizzlies are here and they're grizzled old veterans here. They can take this. Spartan does not have a slam and will probably go down in the process here. Needs to buy a few more seconds to be able to perform a jump. So far, so good. I think Spartan might be able to get a steal off. But still, Ami on 81 population, and he's probably got another drop in the pocket to kill the axe. So once he builds up and re rallies his troops, he should be okay. He's getting a few hornets in. Uh, more Vortex on the way. And the Fortrack will be made on the front lines. Very nice uh, defense for the Spartan there.
a spin shoot for a moment. The Pochok's totally surrounded, but that's a great ammo round right there if he can shoot it. Oh! Base will be going down. And it looks like the... Was that the upgrade? Sorry, what? I swear I've just seen the missile upgrade from... Have you guys also seen the missile salvo? How does Aatrox have that? Excuse me. <laughs> Even Abby doesn't have it. The hell? <laughs> and he gets the second tank now. That Spartan is an absolute giga chat countering this drop by herself. Actually, a female Chad is called a Trixie, just saying. Uh, for those who didn't know. So, that's a Trixie now. Okay. I think it's gone now. It's a little bit too many units. Plus, the leader power should be able to take down the Spartan here. At least all of the units are dead. Uh, and here come the Hornets now for Almirante. I don't see that Spartan being able to escape, but we got some pretty good Vigils to try to throw off the aim. Unfortunately, everything here is a leading weapon, so uh, that's not going to be happening. Mech Blast goes through, blasted, I think, it out of the air, along with the Wolverines. Both are gone, but so is the Spartan, and this is a pretty easy target now. Anti-air turret, who cares? Uh, the other turret is pretty weak as well. And we've got a Kodiak drop in the back. shots and that bait should be pretty much deleted nice well actually there's no detection for the nightingales there's two nightingales still but can just hit those supply pads and it will be uh, down just the same it actually doesn't have too much left trying to do what he can with these warthogs to take down the Kildiak, but Ami's ones are here too. Not being defended. Actually, one goes down, but is that a good trade? I think maybe not. Oh, they dropped down from the bridge. trying to make something happen but it's not gonna happen it trucks will need a bit of a miracle 54 population to 91 here I mean, should just go directly to the main base of Aatrox at this point that's a really solid lead he's got here even adding Wolverines in the back now so nothing just won't last too long this Cody actually just keeps shelling. Pumping is our boy. Oh, Ami is really paying very patiently. Uh, giving Aatrox a lot of respect. No comebacks allowed. Hornet looking for something to do back here. Also, the machine is back up. Maybe Aatrox can make something happen with that. If he could get just half of those warthogs, that would be perfect. Oh wait, that's tier 3 warthog now. Oh, he got too many of them, so he's only got the, the warthog to target, actually. Oh, that anvil round did so much damage. At least Ami is getting some of his own units here. Kind of 
mech blast with his own units, but... I mean, some damage was delivered to Amaranta here, but Aatrox is still suffering. That didn't really change anything. Pew, pew, pew. Chucks will be losing this base 100%. The vehicles keep getting shot to pieces. Spartans here, so might be able. Ah, the slam is on cooldown, so won't be able to steal the last tank. Even so, there's not enough here to really make a huge difference. Army can keep making vehicles all day. And Aatrox has almost nothing left for economy. Three up upgrade supply pads and that's it. Maybe four if we count this. That's not even a supply pad, so... The army has almost every single mini base on the map. Oh, that's not even a real Spartan. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, Aatrox tried, but I'm too strong. He goes on into the grand finals. Aatrox will have to go through the loser's bracket, waiting in the loser's finals now. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. Hitting our next goal will allow us to hire a video editor with your help. Check out the subscription page with the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you in the next video.